morning. It's uh, Tuesday. Everything's going well so far. It's going to be a nice day. This week's going to be a lot of 40 degree weather. So that means mud season's coming. And for me working in the woods, that means we got to finish up and try to get a couple loads ahead to get us through the month of April. Usually we don't plan on working much in April, especially where I'm, I'm on a back road. And up here in Maine, if you're on a dirt road and the roads start to thaw out, each town will post them, which means pretty much no heavy trucks until the roads are all thawed out and hardened back up. So we probably got another week or two of cutting before it completely goes to mud. So just finished getting the cows fed up this morning. They're over there fighting over the water, like always. But they're happy, it's getting warmer out. I can't wait to get them back on some fresh grass. What do you think, huh? Let's head down to the wood lot, see what we can do. I got a load of wood almost finished from yesterday. So get that finished, start on a load of hardwood, and then we'll come back home. And I gotta do some stuff on the barn. That last one of those videos I was putting battens on, and I got this front side just about done. Just gonna get up to the peak and make that door. I still haven't got the hardware for this door. The sliding track is expensive, so I'm holding off right this minute until I know when mud season's coming. But this afternoon I gotta finish the peak, hopefully, and we got a bunch of other stuff to do. So we'll see you in a little while. We got a load of fur to finish. This will be the second load of fur out of here. Uh, I sent out a load of hardwood logs and a load of hardwood pulp so far. But it's like uh, 20 degrees this morning. We'll see how the skidder starts without putting a heater on it. It should start right up fine. So, we'll give everybody a live how she starts and how you start it. Let's see. A little bit of ether. If you don't know how to use ether, don't use it. You can ruin an engine, especially if it's got glow plugs. So, don't use it in anything new. This is for older diesels, pretty much. And a little bit goes a long ways. Squirt it in the air cleaner while it's not being turned over. And then we crank her over. Come on, baby. As you can see, the skidder fired right up pretty good this morning without any heaters or anything. Just a little bit of ether. I can't stress enough. A little goes a long ways in these engines. Don't get carried away with ether. And there's nothing wrong with ether if you use it right. But the horror stories you, some people hear is because people don't know how to use it. So you don't you don't squirt it in the motor when it's running over, and a little bit goes a long ways. If I won't start with it, then something's wrong or it's too darn cold. So, anyways, we're gonna get safety gear on, head in. Almost got this load of fur done. So we'll get that finished and then I'm gonna move over back to hardwood. It's just been a kind of a pick and go game in here with cut fur around the hardwood and then cut the hardwood and move on instead of running around. I can't stand running around a woodlot chasing trees. I kind of just like to pick a section, cut it, and then go to the next piece. So that's what we're up to. I'm gonna get my gear on. We'll hop on the skidder and go in and grab a couple twitches of fur. And I'll show you how I limb my fur. I, those that don't know, I work alone. 
and I can cut quite a bit of fur in a day by myself during the winter because I don't limit by hand and I don't have a delimmer I don't have any fancy machines but there's a couple tricks that you can use so I'll set the camera up and show you let's head in the woods Just wanted to show you um, this particular lot we're not doing a clear cut and so you don't always for instance the skidder has six chokers which go on the main cable and they're, they're what you wrap around the trees that you cut so I have six chokers I usually got eight but two are busted plus the woods pretty big in here so I can't even haul out eight if I want to so Anyway, so I'm going after six fir trees. Not all six grow in one spot. You can't just back in every time and cut six trees without moving the skitter. So we cut the first three and drug them out to the trail. This is the main skid trail that I'm using. So you just you drop your first three or whatever you can get. And then you notice we went over here and we cut another three. So I got my six, stopped next to the last pile. We're gonna hook these up. Notice nothing's limbed yet. I haven't touched them. So I'm gonna hook them up, and then we're gonna drive up Twitch Trail a ways to a corner, and I'll set the camera up and show you how I limb these things.
as a rat's nest. And what it can do is we got a 90 degree corner right here. With a corner post. With all that, with all that stuff comes by this first 90 degree turn, they're gonna wanna spin. They're gonna wanna kick out. It'll blow off a lot of those limbs. In, on the other side of the hitch, this fur we're going to cut later because it's going to get damaged doing this. You can't, you can't do this method in trees that you're going to leave because it, it ruins them. So, anyways, I'll set the camera up. I'll come around this corner and then I'm going to back all the trees down through these young fur and that all those fur will bust off the limbs. pretty good I've had really good luck with it and it takes so much time off the day it's not even funny um, as you can see I mean look there's nothing left well there's a few you get a few here and there that you got to do but it's nothing I mean cleans them right off totally clean all you gotta do is you gotta cut you gotta cut four inch, you gotta have four inch top. So I'll just come in the chainsaw and zip these tops off, but unbelievable time saver. Like I said though, the trees that you're backing into, you gotta cut them when you're done. The junk, you're doing this. And if a forester comes in here or somebody and you leave it like this, you won't get any more jobs. But this is how it's been done for a long time. And with a cable skidder, it's the only way to get production out by yourself. So. Don't be afraid to do it, but cut your trees down when you're done. Hey, what are you doing? You're in my trail. You're in my trail. You're in my trail. Hey. More deer coming in, coming across the street. I've never seen so many deer in my life. Well, it's about 12.30, I 
just finished this load of fur and I got so distracted in there with the deer. <laughs> Holy cow. That is unbelievable. I but I, I hope you guys enjoy all the footage of the deer. Um it's it's not that's not common to see that many deer in land right next to the skid trails and stuff. I mean they gotta be hungry to be hanging out this close to me. As you saw, more were coming across the road and I'm not exaggerating one bit. If there isn't 30 deer in this spot, then then there's none. Um, I've seen lambs. I've seen the does. I've seen several giant bucks. And the only reason I know the bucks is, is they got great big white spots on their head with uh, where the antlers fell off this winter. Unbelievable. Super cool. I'm glad I had my camera with me. But I just got started on the hardwood logs. I'm going to go to lunch. I might come back this afternoon and keep picking away at them because this yard's going to melt out quick this, this, this week with the weather. Anyways, I hope you guys aren't getting bored with all the deer video. I just... We... <laughs> I can't believe I can get this this much footage of them that close I'm a I've been an outdoors guy my whole life hunted a lot and I've seen a lot of deer up close but never never the quantity that's here this is just unbelievable unbelievable and to get some film of the deer laying down like they are that that is awesome that's real cool I hope you guys enjoyed it waiting what you think, bud? You hungry? He says it's my dinner time. And he says, Mama's cooking our dinner. Um, Wait, he says, I just want to go in and have supper in my home. He wants Not to have your guys. He wants to have supper. Oh yeah, come here. This is his little room, utility room slash clutter room. Come here. What are we giving him? Oh, yeah. Prime cuts. 50 pounder. Some roasted asparagus. That's the picture I'm going to call him. The familiar sight of onions. And we're going to have some beef. And not sure what else. Something's going in that. Something you can't eat. Oh, this is Alice is having some. Uh, Alice having some gluten free pasta, and Mummy's having some spinach pasta. That's yucky. <laughs> that's yummy. I'd like some of that, but <laughs> I'm on a restricted diet still. No grains whatsoever. So Scott's finalizing our seed order over here. We've got it divided into two columns. Um, when, you get, when you're growing for yourself or to sell, a lot of planning goes into it. So we're just trying to make sure we don't have forget anything because some of these seeds run out, you know, in the next a month you can run out of certain seeds at Johnny's or any of these big companies. So plan ahead. We got a lot coming up and we just wanted to make sure we want to run by something that we're going to change our video posting dates. We're going to keep Tuesday but we're going to go Tuesday, Friday just until things pick up. Going Tuesday, Thursday is pushing, there's not enough time in between. Seems how there's not much of a variety going on. So if I get from Tuesday to Friday, I can get a little bit more footage than just me working. Because, you know, we work for a living <laughs> still. And, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the deer footage today. If no one really realizes how unnatural that is. <laughs> So anyways, we'll see Expec you. Yeah, especially if you're not used to that stuff in Maine. 
We'll see you to, uh, next Tuesday. And Alice to... wants to close out with something. I want to tell her a couple. Okay. Things. Yep. I'm, I'm just coloring in one of my, my little pony coloring books. Alice absolutely loves My Little Pony, don't you? Yeah, and I love coloring. You do. Yes, you are quite the artist. Anything else? Did you want to say anything else? Say goodbye for the night. So thanks for watching. Perfect. Perfect.